hello hello sisters and brothers my name is tracy coming right back to share some words of encouragement with you guys hallelujah i'm so glad to be here this morning i pray that everybody is doing well um thank you so much to all those that do subscribe new and old alike i appreciate you guys so much i want you to know that i am grateful for your prayers i am grateful for your words of encouragement and i am grateful for all of the seeds that you sow I pray over each and every one of them. I am about my father's business. As I go and do what the Lord says, I thank you guys for sowing into me and praying for me, you know, as led by the Lord. Nobody, nobody and nobody is obligated to give. All right. It is by the leading of God. If God say give, give. If he don't, it's okay. Don't give. He got me covered. Okay. Amen. Amen. I'm so excited about just my journey, just my walk with the Lord. He's so good. He's so faithful. I want you guys to know that he is faithful. I'm um, really quick. Just a reminder. I may not be able to respond to your prayer request, but I need you to know that I pray and I mean it with all of my heart. I pray for each and every one. I read them and I take it before the Lord. Okay. Each and every time that um, you guys email me with a prayer request, I'm praying for you. Okay. Amen. Look, let me jump into it. I don't want to take too long. The Lord gave me this word. Um, well, he gave me some things. Those things are private, but that's okay. This part I'm sharing. The Lord was letting me know that someone is worried, okay, but they are overly worried ab about the future, about tomorrow, about not having enough. You know what I'm saying? Um, not having enough, wondering where the next is coming from. Okay, whatever that next is, that next meal, the next money for the payment, for the gas, the next, okay? Somebody is overly worried about that, stressing out about that. Uh, it's it, they're, You're letting it consume your mind too much. God doesn't want you to do that, okay? God is speaking peace to your mind today in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So listen, <sighs> hallelujah. Let me tell you something, because you have God, because you have him, saith the Lord, because you have him, you have nothing to worry about. Amen. You have nothing to worry about. God is more than enough. I understand the human nature because I had to get past that too. I still have to say, Lord, I believe you and I trust you. Help my unbelief. But we're talking about someone that is really overly worried and really overly stressed. Okay. God doesn't want you to, to, to be that way. He wants you to stop worrying and trust him. Trust that God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the only true and living God that we serve is more than enough for you. All right. He's more than enough for you. Amen. Amen. So listen, it may not always be what we want or what we expect. You know how we get, we get them expectations and you know, we want God to do it this way and it comes another way and you're disappointed. Listen, it's not always going to come the way you want or the way that you expect, but just know that God is sufficient. All right. He has a sufficient provision for you. I did a word before on sufficient provision. Listen, listen whenever God brings me back, which he does often with the same type message, somebody else needs to hear it. And remember too, the new um, subscribers may not have heard the old messages, all right? But this is for somebody today. So the Lord gave me this encouragement for, for um, someone or more than someone, someone's, okay, at 713 this morning. And he had me look up the number uh, 713. God does not always have me look up numbers, you guys, okay? Um, Sometimes it's more than others. I, I, I go by the leading of the Lord. I just don't want to get out there just looking up every single number. That would be too much. That would be consuming, okay? So let's be careful of that. But when the Lord leads me to look up um, a time number or or a page number, it's just what he does, okay? Amen. So at 713 this morning, I felt led to look up that number. The number 713 simply means sufficient and enough. Okay. Is God not right on time? Okay. He's intentional, right? Amen. So whatever you have, whatever God has pro provided you with, it is enough. And you need to be content with that. Amen. Okay. And I know it's not a, um, a easy, easy thing. You got to do it. Paul said he learned how to be content in whatever state he was in. Okay. Philippians uh, 4, 11 through 13. Read that, you guys. Amen, amen. And and two, this is another thing, that we have to be good stewards over what we do have. 
we can't go spin it up on everything let me tell you guys something really quick i really want to get my eyebrows done right you guys can see they are sparse okay and over the years of plucking and waxing and plucking and waxing uh, they ain't trying to really grow back in. So I really wanted to go and um, and get it done. Now we know microblading is expensive. We're talking about what? $350 up. And I'm like, yeah. So God says no. Okay. That is not a wise thing to do right now. And so Eve, I still wanted to try maybe some of that growth serum, but timing is important. So I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait because right now being about my father's business is is priority. They just going to have to stay sparse. And you guys, I've said it before. I don't really do makeup. So I, I don't even know how to draw them on. OK, I didn't really start wearing makeup, to be honest, until I was in my 40s. And I'm talking about mid 40s. I am in my 50s now. Um, in a few months, I will be considered a senior citizen. But we don't have to talk about that. Amen. Let's move on. So listen, the scripture for today is a very familiar passage of scripture, um, Matthew um, 6, 29 through 34. And we know that the Lord talking about um, if he clothed the, the, the grass of the fields, how much more, okay? If he take care of the sparrows, um, he's gonna take care of us. Let me read, that's a quick paraphrase there. Um, let me read really quick, uh, Matthew 6, 31 through 34. I believe this is NIV. It says, so, do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear it says for the pagans run after all of these things and your heavenly father knows okay he knows that you need them but seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well therefore do not worry this is what the Lord is saying to someone today. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry ab about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own, right? Amen. God's saying, don't worry. All right, don't worry about it. He's going to provi provide sufficient provision, okay? It may not be overflowing yet, yet, all right? But where you are... He is going to provide for you, okay? Uh, Philippians 4, 19, what does it say? My God, for my God shall supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory, all right? In Christ Jesus, amen. So you guys, you know I'll put the scriptures in. I just came to let someone know because God told me to come and let someone know to stop worrying. You're, you're overdoing it. Relax. I pray peace in your mind in the name of Jesus. Rest knowing that God got you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I speak peace over your mind today. All right. In the name of Jesus. Grab a hold of some faith and know that God got you. All right. He's going to take care of you. I promise. He has showed up for me time and time again when I did not know how I was going to make it from here to there. Okay, not knowing how I was going to put gas in my car some days or what I was going to eat. I did a story uh, when I was in Texas. I'm not in Texas anymore, you guys. But when I was in Texas, um, I had enough to get my apartment. But I didn't really have any extra money. Actually, I did not have any extra money. So I ran out of food. All I had was um, a jar of peanut butter. Yeah, for real, for real. Like seriously, that much in the jar. Of, of peanut butter and I had just gotten a job because God blessed me a amen thank you Jesus I mean three days after I was in Texas God blessed me to get a job I had to go through the process but nevertheless in three days I had an interview okay and so that's all I had to eat and so I'm eating peanut butter out of the jar or out of a cup whichever way and that's all I had and so when I got off work I'm like Lord I'm gonna need something to sustain me I'm gonna need something to sustain me more than this the peanut butter is running out God made a way hallelujah he made a way he made a way hallelujah amen God is gonna make a way for you today okay I, I didn't mean to come here and be long I just want to encourage you I know what I'm talking about because God has did it for me He's done it for me and he will do it for you. He is no respecter person. Amen. Be encouraged. Jesus loves you. He loves you so much and he's going to take care of you. Amen. He's going to take care of you. Trust him. He's got you. Amen. Amen. Look, I can keep going on because I feel the, the, the power of God. I feel the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I speak peace to your mind. Okay. 
God's got you and he's going to take care of you. Amen. Amen. So um, someone needed that today. I'm just here to be a messenger for my father, my daddy. I love him. I love what I do. I'm so glad I have this platform that the Lord has given me so that I can share encouragement. Amen. Or whatever God give me to share. I'm here to do that. Jesus loves you so much. Please don't ever forget it. Okay. That's the word for today. I love you so much, okay? Don't forget to be a good steward over what you do have. Amen? And God's going to provide what you need. Amen, amen. That's the word. I love y'all so much. Jesus loves you so much more. Listen, if you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him. Sweetheart, it is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just now coming back, it's okay. It's all right. You enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. And remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too, but Jesus loves you so much more. All right? And he's got you. He's going to provide. He's going to provide. Amen. Amen. I love you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.